and a model tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get started on Animoto to create your videos. May it be for your website, your social media platform, for advertisement or anything else. So let's get into it. First off, Animoto is available for free or you can also purchase a plan. I'm just going to show you guys the free version for now and you're just going to click on get started here. You're going to put in your email address, get started. But I must let you guys know that the free version of Animoto will have the Animoto watermark. So that is something to be aware of. And I will put in my password and I'll get back to you guys in a minute. Now, once you have created your Animoto account, you're going to be greeted on this page, which is the recommended for you. So Animoto is going to suggest you a couple of templates that you can start working on. And then you have more templates that are going to be recommended to you according to what you selected your use for Animoto is. And over here, you will also see your start from scratch button. So if you want to start from scratch, you can get started over here. So first off, we're going to take a look at all of the templates that are available on Animoto so you can get a general idea of what kind of diversity is present on Animoto and the variety that exists on this free platform. So there are a lot of things. There is gym stuff, there is family related themes, there are back to school stuff, testimonials, bite sized product intros, birthday cards, BTS, Black Friday promos, blog teasers, campaign awareness. So let's just say we are doing a bite sized product intro. We're just going to choose this template and now we are going to move on to the animoto platform so you can see over here i can add my own clips or pictures i'm just going to skip that and work on the stock video provided by animoto and then we are going to start from scratch and do an entire video ourselves so stay tuned for that now you can see on the right side you have your stock so you can search any kind of images or videos that you might want let's just search hair and now Animoto is searching for royalty-free images or videos of the thing that I've searched. You can see the different kinds of images that are being provided. You can also select if you want the search results to be just of photos, illustrations, or videos. And also if you want them to be horizontal, square, or vertical to fit your advertisement or your video. You can see Almost all of the stuff that is provided over here is available only exclusively on the Pro or Premier version of Animoto, but it's still a very good option to get started and to just get a general estimate of what kind of results you're actually going to be getting once you actually pay for Animoto. Now besides that, on the left you have your project, so any of the stuff that you have uploaded yourself, that's going to be present over here, and here you have your favorite, so anything that you have liked or added a heart to will appear here so you can get easy access to all of your standard stock videos. So at the bottom you have your general video bar where your edited videos are present so you can see the clips that are going to show and in what order they are going to show up on. You can add a block to it so let's just say you're going to add a text only block and this is the type of text you want to add. You're going to click on it and see once you add that text block, you can increase the size of the text, you can change the color, and you can also add subtitles to the basic heading text. So now you can also remove blocks. You're just going to hover your mouse over a block and click on delete, and that will delete any block that you might not like at the finished video. So if we were to play the video, it's going to first render the video because I added this tiny little black block. It's going to render it and now we're going to see the edited video so that is how it's going to look now for more editing you can see at the top you have your design so if you want to change the text design you can add any of these very very pretty themes that are available on animoto let's just say we want to add this and now this theme has been applied to all of our text that is present on this video just like that, let's apply another theme just to show you guys what different themes will actually look like. And now it has been edited according to this theme. Below that, you also have your text formatting. So if you want to change the font, the titles, subtitles, and the overall text style, let's just say we want it to be in frame. 
and now all of our text is in frame. The good part about this design settings toolbar is that this applies the settings to the entire video, so you don't have to worry about changing each individual frame. And this is a very helpful feature, especially if you're a beginner and you don't know how to do video editing at all. This is really going to help you make cohesive and videos that actually, you know, continue the entire idea till the end. So th that's going to really be a helpful feature for you. Also on the top, you have your music. So whatever kind of music you might want to add within the themes, music is already added too. So if you don't have your own music, you don't really know where to get um, royalty free music. They do provide you with some great options that are royalty free and you can search them according to the moods or the top genres. So that kind of search is also available. And now we are going to get started on a video from scratch. So we are going back to our Animoto platform. We're going to go back to our dashboard. We are going to click on create and we are going to start from scratch. Now, once you click on that, Animoto is going to ask you these three questions. And I would say if you're a beginner, answer these. This is just going to help you get a cohesive editing platform once you just sign in. Or you can either skip that and customize each frame. We are going to just select one of the text themes from here and then later on edit it. So let's just say we want a bold theme. And now you're going to select the kind of ratio you want for your video. If you want to post it on Instagram, you might want to keep it square. If this is professional filmmaking, you want to make it landscape. Or if you're posting on Facebook or any other platform, you might want to keep it in a portrait view. Now you are going to select a video or you can even use the stock images powered by Getty Images on Animoto. So you can use stock images provided by Getty Image Studio on Animoto and that's also something that is pretty helpful. Now we're just going to take a video that we have over here. I'm waiting for my video to load. Now you can see over here the video that I had uploaded has been loaded. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it over here. I'm going to delete this empty block and now you can see the video has been added. This is what the video looks like. It's a pretty simple video. Now, first off, we are going to change the background color to pink and we will align this to the side. Trim the clip a little bit. Let's keep it under 10 seconds. So just like that. Maybe we'll just keep the feet centered. And now we are going to add our design. Now let's just keep it bold, close that. We are going to add a block and add a media plus text block. Now we are going to edit this by today and maybe we'll just add the date like that. So continuing with my editing on Animoto, I have just changed the color filter and some of the text present on my video and now I'm going to add another block so you can see at the bottom there's this plus icon you're just going to click on that and I want to start my video by saying that I'm looking to buy luxury shoes or something like that so I'm just going to add a text only block and now I'm going to take a look at what kind of block I actually like okay so I'm adding this block and I'm going to drag it before my actual video so I'm going to move that over here and now this text block is going to appear first before all of the other stuff. So now I'm going to change the text just like that. I have added this block before my actual video and then we have this buy today sale display and then you can also add your logo. So if you are operating a company or something that has a brand logo, you're just going to click on add block. You're going to add a text only block if you don't have any kind of imagery for your logo. You're going to drag down and you're going to see this logo template available. So you're going to check out what kind of transition you want on your logo. So let's just say we want our logo to rotate and then at the end you're just going to add your logo. We're going to change the color so let's just make it a light pink. And now we are going to change the text. Let's just say our company name is Poppy. Let's center that out. Now let's shorten that. Now I'm going to move this text back to the center. 
and I added a space so I want to remove that. It's going to take you a look what it's actually going to appear. I think I should really remove the logo because it's not going well with the rest of my aesthetic. I'm just going to delete that. So for the logo, you're going to insert whatever image you might have. So I just added this blank black screen just to show you guys that you can add imagery to your logo. So that's how you do that. Just drag it from here and then you can place it on top of the logo and it will be centered. Now, this is how you edit a video on Animoto. It's very easy. It's very efficient. But I'm going to show you guys the price points that are available on Animoto and which one you should opt for as well. So if you take a look just at that, we're going to compare the price plans. So let's wait a second. Now over here, you can see the different price plans available on Animoto. So first off, you have your free version and you have your standard features like 720p quality, 50 music tracks, three standard fonts, 30 color swatches, and it is available both on Android and iOS and also your desktop. Then you have your professional, which is 14 euros a month or 14 pounds a month, and you get no Animoto branding on your videos, so there won't be any kind of logo of Animoto on your videos. You also can add your own personal watermark or brand color. So if you're working with a company and they have a specific color scheme or a design scheme, you can just save that once and then apply it to all of your videos. You get 40 plus font. You get high quality videos so you can save your videos in 180p. And you also get 3000 plus licensed music tracks so you don't have to pay any royalties on the music that is available. You also get over 1 million stock photos and videos from Giddy Images. And you can have one saved brand. So the theme that I just talked about, you know, you can save one of those and apply it to all of your videos. On the Professional Plus, which is 35 euros a month, you get a account that over three people can use. So if you're running a company or a small business and you have a couple of people working on stuff, you can use this account for more than one person. You get the license to resell to businesses. So if you're actually just a video editor and you want to edit other people's videos and sell your videos, you can do that by using their professional plus plan and there won't be any illegal trouble. You will also get a 30 minute consultation with a video expert. So you can actually learn in depth on how to really uh, maximize your productivity on this video editing software. You can also save multiple brands. You can upload your own fonts and you get over 100 million premium licensed photos and videos from Getty Images. So you don't have to hustle and bustle to find royalty-free imagery and videos. You can just find them on the Animoto platform. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and are now able to use Animoto for your video editing needs. And I will catch you guys in the next video.